and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a cloud icon. It's a three part process. Let us first create a rectangle and we want to make the corners round. We can use right here the Rx value or we can just drag this circle to the left and you can see the Rx value is adjusted automatically. It should be fine. Now I'll create circles. I hold control when I drag them. Let me disable the snapping for now. I copy that pressing control D. I size it up holding control. So play a bit around with your own design until you've got something that you like. That should be good for this example. Let me select it all. I go to object and group. So that's the first step. The second step is to create the background circle. Let me make that red for now and I hold control and shift. It should be obviously bigger than the cloud icon itself. And I put it to the background with the top menu. Now I make the cloud white. If you still want to adjust it, go to object and ungroup. And then you can size these circles and maybe even the rectangle up or down. Let me select it all. I'll shift and click on the big circle, the red one, to deselect it and then object and group. Now select it all, go to align and distribute. Last selected is active and I align it to the center vertically and horizontally. But maybe I use the arrow keys to put it a bit upwards. That should be good. But I want to give this circle a red one a different color. So I go to fill and stroke under object and I use like a sky blue color. Uh, maybe, maybe something like this. So if you want to use the same, just copy this hex code right here. That's it. Let us go to the third and final step, which is to drag these guides. I need to enable the snapping and you have to have snap to paths active as well. And now you can drag the guide and it will snap right there to the circle of the cloud icon. Make sure you've got the right position so that the entire icon is covered. So don't put it down here, put it up there. And on the left side, the same game. That should be fine. By the way, I am zooming in and out by holding control and using the mouse wheel. And now I use the Bezier tool to just create something like this. It has a stroke, so I'll hold shift and click on the X to get rid of it and I give it a fill. Right now it's black. Put it to the background and then one level up. So now it's in between the cloud icon and the sky blue circle. I copy the circle. So right click duplicate or press Ctrl D. I'll put that right there. We need that light on. Now I shift click on the circle and the black element and use path division. I have created this cutout right here and I make that black. Now I put the circle back and I put it to the bottom. So that way when I drag this black one out, there is still a circle in the background. And now I can use the opacity right here to play around with the shadow. Obviously you could just use a different color as well. But I like to do it with the opacity. When you've got what you want, go to File, Document Properties, and under Guides, right here, delete all the guides. Now you can once again group it, and you've got your cloud icon created in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.